If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. Hey everybody, my name is Tim Hollanden with EXP Realty and I'm here with Aileen Fountain and Andy Hollis, three of the four members of the Agents of Freedom team, which is a subset of the EXP Freedom team, a 3,000 agent organization that did $5 billion with a B in production in 2023. We're here today to talk about the thing that's on every real estate agent's mind right now, and that's how do I make more money? You know, maybe even how do I cut some expenses? I think agents have probably already cut a lot of expenses. So let, let's let's see what kind of value we can give them today on, on increasing their sales. We, we've got lots of ideas. We've all got different areas of expertise. I wish David were here to join us today because he's got an area of expertise. Maybe we can kind of touch on that too for, for, on his behalf. But um, let's talk about making more money. Who'd like to go first? You know, we run a YouTube channel. That's where we get our leads. You know, so... Um, What's that cost you? Nothing. Time. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again. Time. Nothing. <laughs> it's a lot of time, though. Don't be it's, fooled. It's a lot of time. It is. But it's, zero it's dollars. Zero dollars. Zero dollars. Correct. I yeah. mean, yeah. Now you, you can spend sure. money if you want to. I mean, you can pay professional editors. You can right. pay somebody. You can you can hire a full-time filmographer to follow you Not around. Not everybody has an Andy. Correct. They don't. <laughs> but <laughs> they could have. Yeah. <laughs> no. They could. <laughs> But no, the um, but what we've decided to do is, you know, all kidding aside, is we've decided, uh, you know, where a lot of times, you know, in trying times or a changing market or whatever, a lot of people decide, well, they're going to cut back. You know, that's that's what the whole deal is. I'm going to cut back. We're not. We're doubling down. Yep. You know, so we're going to move forward to the fact of where we, if we were doing one video a week, we're going to start doing two and three and four videos a week. Um, we're going to double down on our content. We're going to make longer videos. We're going to ma make sure we're making more interesting videos, keeping people's attention longer, you know, that, that sort of thing. Making sure our, con our, our content is relevant. Absolutely. And evergreen so that it lives forever. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but that, that's where we're headed with that. I don't think Aileen and I, either one of us, it, it, even in our individual businesses, I don't think we had any cost that we necessarily had to cut you know we we did that years ago you know so yeah. you know we stopped buying the zillow leads and the realtor.com leads and the truly leads and all that stop spending all that money because we didn't need to with youtube i mean you literally turned yourself into a 24 7 lead generation machine and you you're duplicating yourself and it's out there for the world to see constantly and you're mm -hmm. you know as long as somebody you make yourself searchable is right. for lack of better words. You make yourself searchable, you become relevant and then boom, there you are. You're in somebody's face. Um, you know, I, I mean, I talk to agents all the time, you know, about, uh, you know, either coming over to our brokerage or just to, just in general about the part, the, the problems that they're having. Um, you know, and a lot of times what I'm hearing is that they're, ha they're suffering within their brokerages because their broke, their brokers are suffering. Yeah. You know, so they're they're basically trying to figure out, you know, I, I mentioned earlier, I said trying to figure out a way to make more money. You said trying to figure out a way to, to make money. I mean, yeah. it's not make more money. Yeah, most just brokerages are money. losing money right now. So, I mean, just to give you a, a good example, you know, I, I worked at a previous brokerage before. I'm not going to mention who they are, but but I, I worked at a previous brokerage before. But that, you know. I went to go make a copy of, <laughs> believe it or not, I went to go make a copy of a contract, you know, which was at the time 12 pages long. What are our contracts now? 17, 20 pages? What are they? They're long. But anyway, so I was just going to make a, co a copy of the contract because an, an old school client who wanted paper copies of everything come to find out that, you know, they're charging me 30 cents a copy yep. for the copy paper. That's probably 50 today. And I'm like, what? <laughs> You're charging me for the copy paper? I'm like, oh my God, I'm glad I don't drink coffee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's telling what that crap will cost. <laughs> you know, but 
I mean, but I, I think that's the point is that they're nickel and diamond everything because they're just trying to figure out a way to make money. I mean, and you can't really fault them for a lot of that. It's just the way that traditional broker right. is made out. You know, it's like, what do you do? You know, yep. so. Um, I owned a brokerage, uh, a franchise brokerage, as you know, it was a Remax brokerage. Yeah. Um, and I loved it. But when I opened the door every year, January 1st, I was $150,000 in the hole just wow. in my overhead. Whew. You know, I would hate and you know how many months it takes <laughs> to make that up before you start making money. And then yeah. and you, you start all over. You tell me that you had one of the lowest overheads of a, mm -hmm. of a franchise model out there. Yep. Well, I had the best deal in town for those agents, too, which that's a whole nother story. But, you know, I feel for the brokers today because they are losing money. Yeah. And if they're not, they had to start selling again personally. And now they're competing with their agents, and that never goes over all that well. But um, let, let's let's give some value to our audience today. I want to I want to focus our talk on how they can generate leads that don't cost them anything. Everybody's penny pinching right now, and we all need to do that. I I was doing that a year and a half ago. I doubled down too on all my ad spend, and that ended up biting me in the you know what because then the market <laughs> slowed down. Right. But the good news is I've got 18,000 leads in my database that one day is, are they going to want to buy something? So, I mean, I, I didn't lose that. It just didn't pay off right away. But yeah, for the agent that used to buy leads or the agent that's real heavy into pay-per-click, um, what advice do you have them? What systems? And, and you each have areas of specialty. So I hope you'll drill into that a little bit on, on what you can do for free or very little money or with a, a, a partner sponsor a lender or title company or someone. Let's talk about some of that and give agents some ideas on, on how they can make more money and, and it not cost them anything. YouTube well, for, is the best one. For, absolutely. I, I was going to say mine, you know, Aileen and I are going to have one in common, but mm -hmm. then she can go down a whole different avenue with, with some of her personal stuff that she's doing. Because, you know, we run a YouTube channel together and we do have a business together, but then we also have, you know, I, I didn't want to take that away from her when we came into this together, which she wasn't going to let me to start with. You know, <laughs> if she wanted to give me half of it, I would have took it. But no, but but she had a well-established business already. You know, so it was like, you know, she had her, I guess, for lack of a better word, she was already had her swim lane. She just mm -hmm. wanted to expand it so mm -hmm. that she could become relevant in the future. She could remain right. relevant. Right. So with the YouTube, I went all in. I mean, that, like, that's just, that's it. That's it for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything is all YouTube all the time. It is, there's nothing else. I mean, it, that's it. So it, it's like, and, and again, it's free. I mean, you know, you literally can go out there with an iPhone, a selfie stick, and a lapel microphone, and you can sit there and make content and as long as you make the right kind of content. And then you know how to put it on the internet. You know how to upload it to YouTube how to do all the back end stuff, you know, the SEO and the geotagging thumbnails, the creating the thumbnails, you know, all that good stuff that makes you searchable. Um, and then creating the right content. You know, you have to create content that people are actually looking for and that's going to be helpful to somebody, mm -hmm. you know, because you can't just go out here and make a, a, a video of a condo and go, here's one, two, three Main Street, it's for sale. Um, you know, if you yeah. want any more information on it, call me. I'd love to help you. I'm the greatest. Uh, I, I sold $900 million worth of real estate last year. Make sure you call me. Uh, look at me. I'm so pretty. All my teeth are white. You know, all that. <laughs> that crap doesn't work. It just yeah. does not work. Now, the, there are people out there that think that it works. And if you're that vain and you think, you know, your ego's 900 feet wide, then okay, keep doing it. You know, but the thing that we have found that works is to offer people information that they are searching for. That that's it. That, mm -hmm. I mean, it, that's the secret sauce. You got to offer people information that they are searching for so that they come to you when they're ready. We've had people that call us that literally have been watching the, the YouTube channel for a year. Now, if you had had that person in your database for one year and you were sitting there calling them constantly, Every week, 
and you were saying, you know, hey, hey, Tim, this is Andy. I mean, I saw that you looked at uh, another property on my on, on my CRM. You know, I saw, you know, at, you were looking at one two three Main Street. Are, are you interested in buying that? And then you're eventually going to say, oh my God, stop calling me. Yeah, please leave me alone. I'll call you when I get ready. And then guess what Tim's going to do? Tim's going to be like. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not calling them. Uh, you know, they're they're annoying. I'm not calling them. They're annoying. But now, if I've got content out of there that Tim that you're interested in, and then you search and you watch me on a weekly basis, and mm-hmm. I'm not calling you, but you're looking at my video every single week and you see my pretty face, and you're <laughs> sitting here going, and I'm telling you, this is what it's like to live in blah 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 whatever city. And then you finally, when you get ready, guess who you're gonna call? Me, because right. you're gonna go. He hasn't been bothering me, but this guy's full of information. Yeah. I think he knows. This guy what he's knows talking his about. stuff. He's a great agent. Yeah, and, well, and for you, our viewers, you, you flip the script, right? Yeah, it, it it's not an outbound call; it's an inbound call. Right. That's what I was just getting ready to say. <laughs> for our viewers, we call that magnetic marketing. Yeah, Absolutely. our prospects call us when they're ready. We don't have to pound the phones. We don't have to buy leads. Um, you and, make yourself attractive. So yeah, you turn you yourself into a magnet. Exactly. And, you know, now Aileen has a whole other lane that she goes down, which I, she can talk to on that. But, you know, with hers, you know, building out a client base and having uh, being able to put on client appreciation parties mm-hmm. that I've that nobody else has ever thrown. And I've seen plus correct me if I'm wrong, but 90 percent of the time, those are pretty much free. You get other people to pay for this stuff, you know, because you partner with lenders, That's you right. partner with other vendors, yeah. you know, you do mortgage companies, whatever. And it, then it's it's an incredibly <laughs> good return yeah. for, for the investment. Now, I wouldn't even know how to start to do that, but she can tell you exactly that. So if you want to really ten time your tenfold your business, then start doing those, you know, once every six months or once every three months, do a client appreciation mm-hmm. party. And you yep. want to talk? You're about staying your, top of mind that oh way. Oh my God, your client base loves you. Two a year, you. two a year will change. Um, will change your uh, repeat and referral business for sure. Yeah. Before we go there, I want you to talk about that. Mm-hmm. Tell our audience roughly in the last twelve months how many million dollars of sales have you made off the channel that you didn't spend a nickel on. Roughly close to ten million dollars, and we've got uh, another twenty-five million in the pipeline. So, that's awesome! Um, and that anybody interested in that <laughs> extra ten million by just adding another piece to your marketing plan? Now, that's yeah, awesome. and that's that's not including you know what I do personally or what Aileen does personally. I sure, mean, you know, yeah, so. we got to put the time in to create the videos. Yeah. And in yeah. your case, you're doing your own editing instead of hiring that out. Yeah, and I think that's smart. Uh, I always. You and I subscribe to the same theory. I I like to know something, so if I do decide to hire it out at a later date, I yep. can inspect what I expect exactly and yep. know that they're doing the job the correct right. way. So, I'm anything not, else on YouTube before we move to Aileen? Yeah, well, I was going to say I, I don't I don't know that we're never going to hire a, a videographer. I don't know that we're never going to hire an editor or a professional thumbnail nail maker or With something. AI, we're probably not because you're we you've, may, you've we, decreased your time. Well, so we much. may not because the whole thing is. I'll be honest with you. I'm a geek, and I think it's fun. I mean, I, I really do geek out sitting in there. Well, and at the end of the day, at, there's not going to be uh, we're we're going to be hard pressed to find somebody that does it the way you want it done and who can do it as well as you. That's going to be the problem. It's the yeah. Same thing for me when I'm working with a client. I just know like certain clients, like I don't trust anyone else to to but work here's, because here's the flip side of that. The yeah. other side of that is I'm nowhere near a professional. I didn't go to college to learn video. Yet. No, you're self, you've self taught. I taught myself the entire thing, but, and you, when you look at our videos, you know, especially the early on ones, you know, mm-hmm. you sit there and go, Oh my God, yeah. these are, these are horrible. You're, you're what's the word? Not, not genuine, but, um, I'll, I'll use that. You're genuine. Yeah. You're a big teddy bear on screen, just like you are sitting at this table in this podcast room. Well, like David says, and, just good old boy and Andy. Your, <laughs> your prospects fall in love with that celebrity that you are on the video, and the same with you. Yeah. Um, well, one thing, though, that Andy hasn't said I'll touch on before we move on is, um, I, for me, the, the biggest, like, aha thing with the YouTube channel is the exponential part of it. Like what we're doing right now 
isn't what we're going to be doing a year from now. I no. mean, it, it, it's going to be amplified. It, it's going to 10x, you know, or whatever, even if it 3x's or 4x's over time, you know, each and every year is going to build on the year before. So it's only going to get bigger, better, bigger, better, mm-hmm. bigger, better, which I mean, to stay relevant. And, you know, if you want to stay in business and grow your business down the road, that's what you want. Absolutely. You know? And but we're going to do that with no extra effort or extra work because like Andy had said, the channel is always working for you. So right. it's always um, in the background working for you. And there's just no way that you could duplicate that just being him and I, there's no way we could duplicate that on any other way to that degree. And yeah. here's a, here's another thing too, that, that I think is really important to say is that, you know, we've, and I, and I'm sure it's been done, you know, I'm, I'm sure it has, but, just to mention it, we recently had a client who bought an $800,000 condo who had never been to our part of the country. Hmm. He had never been there. Wow. He picked up the phone. He called. He called me first. He, as he started talking and started talking about what he wanted to do, I figured out that I was not the guy he wanted to talk to. He saw me on the video, and he said he resonated with me and thought, okay, this is a guy I can trust. So being the guy that he can trust, I thought I'm not the one to sell him a property. She is the expert on investment, and that's what the guy was wanting to do, was was do investment properties. So I called her, got her to call him. All of a sudden, here they are. They have created this relationship. I'm telling you, this guy is a client for life. Is he not? Oh, yeah. He loves us. And he's absolutely, he bought an $800,000 condo, never been here. Didn't even come do the in, the initial walkthrough. She did the walkthrough. She did the final walkthrough. He did everything. He didn't come here till after he had owned the condo for what three days. No, he he came down here on vacation and saw it while we were under contract. But okay. But then I did the final walkthrough, and he hasn't been back. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. And I mean, now he's so got he, renters in there. He does. Never, yeah, never been here and yeah. bought the and bought the condo strictly based on what he learned from us on YouTube. And it was like, and we would have never, I don't think we would have ever got that guy just with a phone call. You know, if we'd have, right. if he'd have contacted Zillow and said, I'm interested in this condo, we picked up the phone, called him, talked to him for five minutes. That transaction would have never happened that way. No, no, no he, it, it, we didn't have the YouTube channel. He would have clicked on a Zillow or a realtor.com button and had like four or five realtors calling him. And then who knows who would have ultimately ended up with him. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. So, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, as, as far as my business goes, um, you know, but this piece is a huge piece, in my opinion, to continue to be able to grow the business. Um, but I, I kind of saw this market shift happening, you know, two years before it actually happened. So I started preparing for it then. And, you know, essentially what I decided um, two years ago was just to double down on my clients, which had already, there's already certain things that I, I did naturally to make sure that my repeat referral business was coming in. But what I, I created an actual system. It is literally all about pouring into my clients, my database, and essentially now, Um, The only thing that I work are my clients, the people that they refer to me, and um, the business from the YouTube channel. That's it. I mean, it it is, I put, you know, 50% of my time into that YouTube bucket, and I put 50% of that time into my um, already established real estate business, but I totally doubled down on that. Andy already mentioned we've doubled down on our content. Um... And and I have an entire system in process and every two weeks, you know, and I actually print out a form for myself to hold myself accountable. And every two weeks I have um, so many calls, text, emails and face to face meetings that I schedule with my clients. And every two weeks I check in and make sure that by that deadline that I have hit those numbers and, you know, the day before, if I hadn't hit those numbers, you know, I'm pick up the phone and make a few extra phone calls and. And it's literally just to, to touch base with your client. Um, and, you know, and I log everything. So I know who I've talked to, when I talked to them, what we talked about. Um, 
but you know that that system and then i do you know my, my annual client appreciation party which for anyone who's trying to create what i've created or grow then i would recommend you know doing a, a biannual one but but i just do an annual one and that's a whole nother conversation on that because yeah. that's, well, that's, that, 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 that's a segment within you've itself. You've got a training on that. I, I was just going to say, I, I think do. we need to do a, a complete training on that, on how you set it up and how you get lit, vendors involved. Yeah, and, and I actually you already have done that and recorded it. Yep. But, yeah. um, but, but no, I mean, that. so that's, that's, that is part of my full-on systems and processes uh, integrated in throughout the 12 months of all these contacts. And you know, and, the, and then in conjunction with all that is the social media marketing that I do for every listing, every buyer, every contract, every closed sale. You know, all that goes on all the, every platform, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, all that. So, and I'm connected in with all of my clients on those platforms. So literally they hear and see from me all the time. If I go out and I want to promote one of our listings and Andy and I go out and, and do a video YouTube on it. Literally, I will send that video out to my entire client database. So like, check out my new listing. You know, and then of course my client sees that too, mm -hmm. you know, and I've, I've sort of sent that out to my, and, and it's, and then I, the engagement is, is really high. It's really, you know, really, really surprisingly great. And so then I have, you know, a mixture of hard mail marketing, email marketing, social media marketing in conjunction with the actual touches of the phone calls, text messages, emails, client party. So they are hearing from me so much throughout the year. It is, it's impossible to not stay top of mind. And it absolutely works. I mean, just, you know, in this, this market, I mean, they're getting call, you know, Hey, we're going to be in town. We want to list our property. Can we meet with you? Um, hey, an email, Hey, lean, what's my property worth right now? I mean, it is, you know, us. Uh, I'm I'm referring a buyer to you. Uh, these are some friends of mine. They're gonna they want to come down and buy. And I mean, it is, it. So they're not gonna buy a house and then go. Oh, I forgot about Aileen. Yeah, no, they won't. No, <laughs> no if, if they didn't use me, they didn't want to use me, and that's okay too. But uh, but no, it 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 um having that systems and processes in place, um and and. If, if you don't have, like, obviously not everybody's been in the business as long as me and they haven't built that up, that's okay. Your goal, I mean, if you are not thinking about every single day adding someone new to your database, you are, you know, you're missing the mark. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, it, it, my goal is every two weeks to add two new people to my database, but that's a lot considering, like, I already have an established da database, right? Like, so it's one a right. week. It's one a week, which is not crazy, but like also like don't get out very much, right? Like I, you know, I have family and I work. I like I don't really do anything else. So it's hard for me, but but I have to I have to do that to myself, to hold myself accountable. And surprisingly, surprisingly, I I end up adding two or three people, like because a, a referral came in mm -hmm. or a, you know. A new YouTube. A button. new YouTube. Some, you know, your, your systems are doing it for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Because much. it's like it's like I actually. Oh, okay. Well, I got to put that person in the database. But if you, if that's not the way you're thinking, if that's not your mindset, you'll you will you'll naturally start working that person. Of course, and then you'll close them, and you'll forget about them. Then they'll forget about you, mm -hmm. and that's it. You got the one. You got the one transaction. And granted, you probably did a great job on them. You did everything right took care of the client, but you didn't keep in touch with them. Yeah. You didn't put them in your they database. They loved you, but they forgot you. <laughs> yeah. And then six months from now, their uncle or their sister or their mom or whatever is going to buy or sell, and they ain't sending them to you because they forgot about you. Right. So that that's that's my secret sauce. And I, all I did was take my meat and potatoes, and then Andy and I did the YouTube channel, and I'd put my sauce on my meat and potatoes, my, our gravy, if you, if you will, and – now have a full meal. Yep. I, I stay <laughs> all the time. All the time. But I mean, but you know, it's it's um it's gonna keep me productive and profitable. And as and, you say relevant. And relevant. And so yeah. I'm I mean, even in a downshifting market, I mean, no, I'm not like blowing it out of the water like or anything like that. But I mean, I am steady, consistent, you know, I'm not starving for business. I'm not, you know. I mean, so like 
I, I mean, there's not, I, I couldn't be any happier. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> and something you haven't mentioned that we're both doing is we've started our Google business page yep. and we have a training on that. Um, how to add a hundred thousand dollars in GCI a year again for free. Yeah. And, Google business and, and doesn't I'll be cost honest anything. with you, Tom. I don't have to do that or need to do that. I right. do it because again, I am trying to be like, how am I going to stay relevant in the future? Mm -hmm. This is not, I don't need that right now. My phone is ringing. People are calling, emailing, texting. If they're not, they're coming in from the YouTube channel. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I don't have to do it. I, but I do think that it is an important thing to do for your business. So why not do it? Yeah. Well, it's you another know? leg on the stool, if you will. Plus you're trying to learn as much as you can learn about it. So you can teach somebody <laughs> else. So you can help the next person down the line. Mm -hmm. sure. I think that's why we all do a lot of the stuff that we do. I mean, because let's face it, I mean, I, you know, as far as YouTube is concerned, I, I mean, I, it's taken up so much of my time that, you know, why am I doing the training and teaching people how to do YouTube? I mean, what's that going to get me other than, you know, I mean, but it's, it's just to help somebody. I mean, yeah. you know, eventually we talked about this. Eventually we're going to wind up selling the program or whatever the case may be, or well, who knows, we may just wind up giving it away. I, mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the future is with that. But the fact is, the goal behind it is to be able to help other people and to teach them how so to. So they can duplicate what we've done. Yeah. Right. So they, you know. Yeah. And you're already giving it away to the people in your EXP organization. Yeah. So there you so go. They're becoming better agents. That's helping them. It's helping you. It's helping the company. Yep. We all own it. Without a doubt. Okay. Well, I'm going to wrap it up with a couple of things. You know, my secret sauce has always been. Um, expireds and fizbos and they're starting to come fizbos are they're always there mm -hmm. but expires are coming back in some markets um and for you new agents out there fizbo is for sale by owner <laughs> and i i Thank say you. that because in my first year in business everybody kept throwing that word that that you know fizbo 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 i was like <laughs> what the heck is a fizbo yeah you know <laughs> excellent point <laughs> but yeah. anyway i didn't mean so to for sale by owners <laughs> and expires I, i've i've got um programs that I built and and I built them because I didn't want to be a cold caller. I can cold call. I don't particularly like it. I was right. okay at it. I closed business doing it, but I've always subscribed to what I call a, a shotgun theory. You know, you shoot a shotgun in the air and there's a lot of many, many, many bullets spraying out at one time. And there's a bird or two that'll fall from the sky. And that's my prospect that I focus on. Um, I believe in that shotgun approach over the rifle approach because I don't want to sit on the phone and call 30 people a day, but I'll put 30 pieces of mail in the mailbox. Right. And I'll talk to the ones that call me from those 30. So I can be doing other things. I can be serving my other clients. I can be working with my team. I can be training somebody in my EXP organization, how to be a better agent or grow a team or whatever it is they're interested in doing. So, yeah. um, and, and that costs money. We've talked about things that, you know, Minimal when I cost though for the return, yeah, when yeah. I started this, um, podcast today I, I said you know let's talk about things that cost little to nothing well this is the to nothing or or, or little little excuse yeah. me um you know what you all have talked about doesn't cost anything but your time mm -hmm. um it cost me a stamp a number 10 envelope and a piece of paper and the toner that was put on that paper yeah. that, that's probably 70 cents per letter i mean it's, it's not a lot and most of that's the u.s postal service which yeah. Don't get me started. Right. But anyway, yeah. um, so those are two other vertical markets, if you will, that agents can focus on to, to get more business. Mm -hmm. And those are compelling letters that make the phone ring. Mm -hmm. They have guarantees in them that make the phone ring because people are curious. What do you mean you can sell my house uh, in 39 days or you'll sell it for free? Right. You know, that's an attention grabber. Sure. And um, so, yeah. All right. Yeah, and, and, and I'll just to, um, tell you, you know, obviously I know your system and your process with that. And what I love about it is once, you know, obviously everything's hard at first, but once you really get the knack of it and hang of it, I mean, boom, you're, you, the consistency of it doesn't take that much time. No, it doesn't. And so it does, like you said, it frees up. You still have all this time to devote to other things, other aspects of the business but still get a great return on that because you are going to get somebody who's going to pick up the phone and call you like, Hey, I got mm -hmm. your letter. 
Yeah. You know? I spent a half a day, for those of you that are wondering what kind of time it takes, I spent about a half a day when I built the system, day one, and then I spend about 10 to 20 minutes per day implementing the system. And on Fridays is a big mail day, so it takes 30 to 60 minutes, depending on how many letters are in queue to go out that day. Yeah. And, and it, it's, it's all systematized. I've got a checklist for everything. I've got a template for everything. And um, there's eight pre-programmed letters that I send out like clockwork. So it's all about consistency, guys. Yeah. You know, yeah. doing, doing it the same thing over and over and over and over eventually starts paying off and then yep. it starts paying off regularly. Yep. Yep. And once you find your lane that you like and you're good at, you keep keep down that lane, like you said, with the consistency and the success will happen. Mm -hmm. Anything we haven't talked about you want to give our audience today in terms of free or very low cost lead gen to the whole topic today was to help people, help agents make more money. I think, you know, I think it's imperative to have a really good CRM to keep up with, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, if somebody, it doesn't matter what your system is, the right. YouTube channel. What's the best CRM? <laughs> the one you use. The one exactly. You, yeah. <laughs> well, and that's the other yeah, thing is I mean, the old saying, everything works if you work. But that, but that you know. sounds so simple, but you would just be yeah. surprised how many people are not utilizing one. And, you know, whether it's somebody picking up the phone, calling off your letters, whether it's a YouTube client, who called in wanting to more information, whether it's, you know, a referral that came in from another client to me, doesn't matter. Like mm -hmm. if they aren't going in your CRM, yeah. you or are, your Excel sheet or whatever it is, or you're whatever using, it is. Yeah. yeah. Put them somewhere your so database, you can touch them regularly. You are not going to keep track of them properly. That is, right. I mean, that is just like, I'm telling you, that is the first thing you've got to do. And if you're not doing it, I don't care how established you are or how many years you've been in the business. If you're not doing that, you are missing the mark. Yep. Absolutely. So. Yep. Anything else guys? No. All right. Thanks for tuning in everybody. We'll see you next time.